What's going on gamers? How you guys doing today? So, welcome back to another video from Pro Guides. All right, so we all know that competitive Fortnite or even casual Fortnite can be super difficult to improve at, right? So we caught up with a pro player who has been playing since the earliest days of competitive and received their insight on eight secrets that almost every pro player knows. So in this video, so excited, man, we're going to be giving you guys all eight of these secrets and explaining why and how they work so you can just get one step closer to playing like a pro. But real quick, before we do all that, let's do the question of the day real quick. All right, today's question is, what tip or piece of advice has helped you the most in terms of improving at Fortnite? Let me know in the comments. The last thing before we get into this amazing video, if you want to improve and maybe even reach a pro level, you need to check out ProGuys.com. Okay, so on our website, we offer courses from some of the best pros in the world, like Mongro and Benji, and we're creating new ones weekly. From advanced building and editing guides to scrim courses to controller courses, man, so much more. So we also have a ton of articles and guides to help you guys stay on top of the meta. And finally, on top of all of this, okay, so we offer 24-7 on-demand coaching to help you guys improve. So if you want to be the best, you got to check out ProGuys.com, all right? What's going on, guys? It is your motivation guy. That's right right your friend the one and only keith allen i am back let me ask you this question are you struggling today with motivation you know in any area of your life if you are well that means you're probably lacking a vision you're probably lacking a clear-cut goal because when you have vision of where you want to be and what you want to do with your life you know not only in this game but just in any area what happens is is that now there's an inspiration to get up every single day with purpose and accomplish those goals or to take one step towards those goals to complete it all right so I want you guys to set goals, set a vision for yourself, and I promise you, you're going to get that extra motivation to be the best that you can be. I believe in you, so go get it. Connect with me on my new Insta, like immediately, at Your Motivation Guy. All right, guys, it's about that time. Ladies and gentlemen around the world, it's time to sit back, relax, and get some of my favorite candy. Come on, y'all better scream this out. It's that bunch of crunch, and let's get this going. All right, so you might be thinking, Keith Allen, I already played the game a lot, so this doesn't really apply to me. And you know, you're partially right. Okay, so if you're able to put in the hours, that's great. Obviously, you're not gonna benefit as much and reach a high level on an hour a day, all right? It's just not gonna happen. However, you know, you gotta think about it this way. Is your goal in Fortnite something you can just really take seriously? Like, if you wanna become a top pro, guys, and you wanna place in every single tournament, are you playing in the scrims for hours daily? VOD reviewing my friends and analyzing your mistakes and, you know, doing all of that is what you need to do. If you're not, then that's a clear issue, all right? The problem is, like, with most new competitive players is really they just play box fights, zone wars, 1v1s, and pubs for the most part. While all of these are great, you're really not really benefiting as much as you would be if you were doing more competitive practice like scrims, VOD reviews, and tournaments and stuff. You know, another issue is not putting in the time. Woo. All right, so to become good, you know, as a competitive player, you need at least a few hours every single day, guys. You can't just have days where you don't feel like it or you're just tired or just overall, you just don't want to play. Almost every player that we consider a pro spends upwards of six hours, even eight to 12 sometimes, every single day on Fortnite. Now, I get it. A lot of you guys are in school. A lot of you guys got work. A lot of you guys got a lot of stuff going on. So I really understand, all right? I'm not telling you just to sit down and play Fortnite 12 hours a day, but making sure you're putting in enough hours and just, you know, getting effective practice, it's absolutely crucial. It really is. So if you're doing both of these things, then you've completed the first step and you're ready for step two, which is constant adaption. All right, so you may have noticed how pros always seem to have these new, unique tricks up their sleeves, right? And they seem to just know everything about the game. <laughs> Every single new change or addition to the game, pros already know everything about them. However, okay, so being like this and knowing what seems like every single thing about every new item isn't really as hard as you might expect. The secret right here, and I mean like right here, is to have a lot of sources to get your information from. A few examples are our YouTube, where we post new information and tricks all the time, all right? Our website, where we post the most exclusive content in form of courses, YouTube channels like Orange Guy and it's Jerian, you know, where new tricks and such are posted, right? And anything else that you can find to help strengthen your understanding of new items and learn new tricks. So knowing all new tricks can really give you guys an edge. Oh, okay, like it'll take it to the next level, especially my friends in competitive and having a lot of resources at your fingertips, my goodness. What you can really check often, it's gonna prove to be super helpful and it's gonna give you guys a huge advantage. 
All right, guys, next up, we're going to be discussing constant improvement, Oof. which is like one of the most difficult things on this list. Constant improvement can be really hard to achieve for some players with obstacles, you know, like plateaus. I mean, I get it. Burnout and other factors just coming into play. I mean, it is life, right? So to constantly improve and get better at the game, especially a game with a difficult skill curve like Fortnite with only a tiny, tiny portion of the players being at a pro level, I mean, my goodness, you have to make sure you're constantly finding and improving upon the mistakes you make, right? And also spotting the positive patterns in your gameplay that you should continue doing. So alongside of this, you know, learning new micro actions like building and editing techniques, which is huge, getting better aim and learning new peaks, that's gonna make you a better fighter overall, right? You know, you have to do anything possible to just make yourself better at the game. There's honestly really no such thing as a maximum skill level in Fortnite. You can just keep getting better and better. I always say the sky is not the limit. Okay, maybe in the game, but not for you, all right? Even someone who gets first in every single tournament can improve. Yeah, they could actually get better. That's just how the game is, all right? All right, guys, so next up, let's discuss the value of experience Oof. and how your time in game makes you better. I'm excited about this one. Everyone say experience. Experience, let me tell you this, man, it's a game changer. That's gonna make you so much better at the game, not only by reducing your panic and anxiety, because I know many of us struggle with anxiety and panicking and stressing. You guys hit me up all the time on my Insta asking for advice on this, all right? But experience, guys. Okay, let me break this down real quick. Experience gives you guys the confidence, all right? Knowing you've been through the same process and you won the same fights plenty of times before. So you've been there, you've seen it, you already know how it's gonna go, and that gives you the confidence to be successful more and more, all right? Think about this. If you have a certain rotation that's relatively odd and difficult, there's a good chance that you're gonna die doing it, right? But if you've been through that same rotation like a hundred times <laughs> and VOD reviewed it and learned how to do it, you're no longer gonna struggle with it nearly as much. That's just reality. So if you've been in every single situation like a thousand times, then you're gonna know exactly what to do. My point is, is that the more you play in arena, guys, the more you play in tournaments, the more you play in any other competitive events, the more you're gonna learn and the more you're gonna understand when it comes to your in-game performance. Come on now. You know, there's really no secret formula to gaining experience or just making your experience more beneficial. Just play the right things like scrims and arena and play them a lot. That's where a lot of people go wrong, all right? They play them, but they only play them once in a while. But that's not gonna cut it. You need to be on point, man. You need to have the discipline to play and gain experience constantly. And I believe in you, man, so you gotta do it. Even when you're tired and you don't feel like doing it, yo, you gotta push yourself. Like, you know what? I have a goal, I have a vision. And because I have this goal and vision, I'm not gonna let my body tell me no. I'm not gonna let my mind tell me no. All right, you gotta find that motivation by having that vision, all right, like I said earlier. Playing competitive Fortnite modes constantly, like over and over again, can really, really be draining, I get it. But you have to do it if you wanna reach the high level that you wanna be at. Speaking of a high level, what's better for learning than to watch and analyze pros who are at the highest level in the world? All right, well, let's talk about that. Watching other pros. Okay, so you might be thinking, well, I already watch pro players. But there's a huge difference between like sitting back with like some bunch of crunch, you know what I mean? Or whatever else you like, just watching a pro dominate bots. But it's a whole different ball game to watch and analyze a pro. It's a whole different thing, man. So the thing is, if I'm simply just sitting here and casually watching somebody, I'm not really looking and I'm not really learning from everything they do. Instead, I'm just like hanging out, you know, eating my bunch of crunch and just doing it for enjoyment, which is cool. But if you want to get to the high level, you have to be intentional. You have to have a plan. All right. So what you have to do instead is grab a notepad, put down a bunch of crunch, turn on the stream, highlight video or whatever content you think you can learn from and start taking notes. Yes, like you're in class. All right, so check this out. Look how the pro handles certain situations. What building and editing maneuvers they do, you know, check it out. Like how are they handling certain rotations and really anything else that you could just see from it, all right? You gotta take notes. I'm telling you, take notes on how the player is different from you. And just think about, you know, how you can, you know, repeat what they do right and put it into your own play style. So it's just really important to know, like not only the simple things, but also like how he goes for kills in in-game. But look at it on a different level. Something like, you know, he goes for kills when he needs materials, or he goes for kills when he gets better positioned by doing so. Also, all right, so we do pro analysis videos all the time here on Pro Guides, all right? So be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell if you like to see those. But anyway, my friends, all right, let's move on to our sixth topic which is mechanical skill. All right, so your mechanical skills are arguably your most fundamental skills that you got. Mechanical skills include your aiming, all right? Editing, building, 
And these three all come together to form your skill during fights and any sort of scenario where you're interacting with enemy players. Having good aim, fast edits, and efficient builds? Yo, that's the absolute best way to win fights and survive in-game where you're required to make fast edits, you know, build tunnels quickly, and arguably the most important thing, <laughs> hit your shots. Yeah, without hitting your shots, you're not gonna win anything. So let's discuss a few ways to improve each of these fundamental skills. Building, all right. To improve your building, it's best to learn new techniques by looking around online and in pro gameplay for things you haven't learned and use the four-step process of finding the technique, all right? Analyzing it, using it in 1v1s, and then using it in-game. To sharpen the techniques that you already know, simply free build and creative, and do 1v1 build battles to put them into more realistic use, all right? Editing. Editing is like pretty similar to building. Focus on implementing editing techniques in your free builds, right? And also use the step process to learn editing techniques as you use to learn building techniques. Alongside of this, all right, doing box fights forces you guys to pull off close range edit plays and can really help you guys out in terms of learning when and how to do certain edits. And finally with this, all right, you can also use an editing map or course to sharpen your skills even further. So here are a few codes for you guys for edit maps that might help you out. Raiders edit practice map 0744-7641-9247. Raiders edit practice map number two, 1593-3986-3647. Can Duke's ultimate edit course, 9245-0165. 6565. Nishal's editing warm up course 5791 5344 8932. Kanduk's edit on release course 2378 5027 8270. Salaj's infinite edit course 6165 7059 and 7400. However, keep in mind, guys, that while edit courses are great, they don't have a realistic practice, you know, for most of the time, all right? So be sure to do them, but also, you know, implement the other forms of editing practice as well to avoid, you know, just having issues with editing in real games. Aiming is like the most simple thing to train to, but it's usually the most difficult at the same time. For controller players and keyboard and mouse on console, we recommend using in-game creative maps. One amazing map is the Aim Facility by a YouTuber named Salaj. We'll put the code up on the screen if you'd like to try it out. 8679-4218-6519. To practice your aim if you're on mouse and keyboard and play on PC, we recommend picking up Kovacs FPS Aim Trainer on the Steam Store, which will only cost you 10 US dollars, all right? If you can't do that, then Creative Aim Trainers will work as well. On Kovacs, there are a ton of different scenarios you can use to practice your aim, all right? From click timing to flicks to tracking, target switching, yo, they got it all. If you're curious on which Kovacs scenarios you should be doing, well, we'll be putting a link in the description for a video by a YouTuber named Teko, where he outlines all the best Kovacs scenarios to improve your aim fast. We also posted a video about Kovacs if you'd like to see it, which we'll also link down below. All right, guys, so now that we've gone over mechanics, that's another fight to make sure your mechanics are always strong when you play, right? Which is why, you know, a good warm-up is absolutely crucial for high-level players. Yes, we gotta talk about it, guys. We gotta go here right now, and that is warming up. Having a high quality warm up is another thing that pros have that you might think you have, but uh, you really don't. A high quality warm up consists of exercises for all three mechanics your aim, right? Editing, building. You know, it should be long enough where you're properly warmed up and you're ready to play. But also, you know, not get burnt out, you know, tired and, you know, bored for warming up too long. So the optimal time, guys, for a warm up is usually around 20 minutes to an hour. So to start, you know, a great warm up, it's best to hop on Kovacs or a creative aim map and just start practicing your aim for about 10 to 15 minutes, right? All right, from there, head into creative and free build, including editing techniques as well for another 10 to 15 minutes. If your edits don't feel completely warmed up yet, all right, hop into an edit course for another five to 10 minutes, okay? And finally, all right, if you have extra time to warm up or you don't feel completely warm up by then, all right, hop into some build fights with a friend. So we recommend build fights, you know, over box fights, since you have to crank your builds and edits a ton, and you really have to focus on hitting your shots, as opposed to just like a box fight where you, you know, your play style might be a bit slower and less reliant on speed, right? Overall, okay, a good warm up is absolutely important, and following this short yet effective routine should have you on point every single time you play. All right, next up, let's get into our final tip. You guys ready for this? Come on now. Playing smarter, not harder. 
All right, playing smarter, not harder, like, what does that mean? Well, basically, it means to maximize the time you have on the game, right? Instead of just hanging out and playing squads with a few friends and, you know, you're focusing on scrims or arena, maybe adding extra time to your aim train or anything like that. Whether you have 10 hours a day, or I don't even care if you have three hours a day, I don't even care if you have one hour a day, maximizing your time in the game, that's gonna make you so much better. So we know like that messing around and having fun, yo, that's always great. We wanna have fun, I get it. But if you're really looking to succeed, if you really, really have that vision, if you really have your goal set, you gotta practice. So it's all about spending as much time as possible, you know, doing the right things, right? Things include, you know, mechanical practice, like we talked about, scrims and arena, researching new techniques, you know, watching the pros improve, like we talked about, VOD reviewing yourself and any other forms of practice, all right? Focus on maximizing the time that you got. And if you ever get any extra time to fool around and have some fun, then you know you, know you earned it. All right, so we discussed a lot of things during this video, so let's do a quick recap and touch over everything that we talked about. Putting in the hours and practicing correctly. It's all part of the first step. You know, taking Fortnite seriously. Are you serious? Do you really wanna get good at this game? Do you really wanna be a pro? Do you really, you know, wanna maximize your time? If you really wanna be the best, you gotta put in the time and you gotta work to get there. The second piece of advice, guys, is constant adaption. So important. Staying on top of the meta and just knowing all the new tricks and changes is really, really important to maintain a high level of gameplay, all right? And it's just really one of the main reasons some pros just fall off and stop performing. So using different sources to find new information about the game and checking those sources often, that's gonna show you guys to keep a high level of, you know, your understanding and just really connected to like what is happening around the world. Focus on constantly improving at the game, all right? Keep analyzing your gameplay and finding new things to learn and practice. And you're gonna be doing so well. And then you're gonna be maintaining constant improvement. Experience, guys, that's really gonna help with your anxiety. I'm telling you, experience is super viable. And this is one of the main reasons why pros play almost all the time. The more experience you have in high-level games, the better that you're gonna perform when the time comes. And you're faced with the difficult decisions and high-pressure fights, and you're gonna do well. Watching other pros and learning from what they do, yo, that's gonna give you insight you wouldn't have. When you watch other pros, take notes on what they do different than you, and then like how you could take like what they do and implement it in your own play style, all right? Keeping your aim, guys, editing and building skills at a high level are all absolute must. So you gotta make sure constant practice. You know, you gotta practice these things all the time to keep up your mechanics at a high level. All right, so you gotta use a high quality warm up consisting of all three forms of mechanical skill, all right, to make sure that you're on your A game whenever you queue up in a match. Finally, the last piece of advice for this video, all right, is to play smarter, guys, not harder, making good use of your time in the game, and you don't wanna waste your time on things that are really not gonna help you improve at the game. If you could do all eight of these things properly, you're gonna be on your way, I promise you, man, to becoming a pro player. Just don't forget that a high level of improvement doesn't happen overnight. It's gonna take time, man, so keep grinding. Don't give up, don't surrender. It's gonna require you to constantly do all these things and just practice it quite often. I believe in you guys. I'm telling you, you can do it if you really put your mind and you set it to that, all right? All right, guys. Once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Connect with me on my new Insta at your motivation guy. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We really hope you enjoyed it. Use these eight secrets to continue improving and getting better, all right? So hopefully, you know, you can reach a pro level and start placing high in tournaments and maybe become like the great players you look up to. If you enjoyed the video, we appreciate it a bunch, like a bunch of crunch. If you drop a like, subscribe, and maybe share the video with a few friends if you think, you know, it can help them. Remember to tell us in the comments what you like to see next on the channel because we read all the comments and we do consider every idea believe it or not also be sure to check out proguys.com for some more amazing exclusive content you're not gonna find anywhere else i promise you that once again we'll see you next time